Hello, my sweet remote friends on um, this point here. I'm coming to you from my home, not my classroom. Um, I know that I already sent you a verbal rundown, well, in written form, um, regarding your goals letter that I would like you guys to write um, for ELA because remember how I said our in-school friends are working on that and I'd like you to work on that too. Well, my in-school friends kind of got my spiel about <laughs> this letter and you guys did in writing, but sometimes it's just helpful to see the person talking about it and, and hearing the person talking about it. So, um, here we go. <laughs> Your goals letter, like I mentioned, is first going to be all kicked off and started off with brainstorming. Okay, I want you guys to brainstorm in a Google Doc that you will send to me, or share to me rather, um, all the different things that you would like to potentially work on, different goals that you have set for yourself. And I really want you to just brainstorm a bunch, get a bunch down on that Google Doc, okay? Come up with anything, anything, okay? Um, and for each one of those goals that you potentially want to work on, I want you to give me examples of how you could reach that goal. What could you do to help you reach that goal? Now, I remember in that email that I sent you describing this assignment, I gave the example of, oh, maybe a goal that I want to set is to improve my reading. And so not only did I just say, I want to improve my reading, but I gave examples of what I could do to actually help me achieve that goal. Well, I could make sure to read 30 minutes a night and I can make sure to read to a family member 30 minutes a night or I could reach out to my teacher for potentially helpful uh, vocabulary flashcards or like reading comprehension extra practice tasks so that's showing me that you're not only coming up with a goal but you're already brainstorming of ways that you could work towards achieving that goal because when you write the letter that's also the expectations that I have for you to include right in there. So why not just kind of start coming up with those ideas first in the brainstorming phase? Now, you'll also notice in the written portion, I have said when we actually get to the letter itself, I want you to pick three of the goals that you've brainstormed. Three, okay? So remember how I said I want you to come up with a bunch. Come up with a bunch. It's good to just sometimes like vomit all your thoughts on the paper, or in this, <laughs> in this case, typed up in a Google Doc. So then you can go back and look at everything you came up with and narrow it down. Okay, maybe you want to come up with the three uh, most important goals to you to try to achieve over this first quarter of our sixth grade year. Okay, so when you actually choose those three, all right, as well as how you will actually wind up achieving that goal, you are going to type yourself a letter. And that might seem kind of funny because you're probably thinking, wait, 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 when I write letters, I write them to other people. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> but sometimes when we write to ourselves, it kind of in a way holds ourselves accountable. Have you ever had conversations with yourself in your head? It's kind of like you're doing the same thing. You're just putting it in writing or typing rather. Okay. So I not only wind up collecting these letters, but at the end of the first quarter, I give these letters back to you as a way as kind of like a check-in with yourself. Like, huh, did I actually achieve those goals? Maybe I achieved one of them, maybe I achieved two of them, but I didn't achieve this third one. So maybe this is something I need to continue to work on in second quarter. So it's a really good self-check-in, self-reflective tool for us, actually, and a great writing and typing assignment. So back to the letter. You are going to start your letter by going, dear, your name, okay, because you're writing to yourself. And then you are going to, for each of your goals, you are going to write a paragraph for each goal. I keep saying write, you know, I mean type, because it's gonna be, it's gonna be in a Google Doc. So every time I say write, just think type, okay? You're going to type a paragraph for each goal. Now, I don't want you doing any less than four sentences per paragraph, okay? So for every goal, and then explain to me what you're going to do to actually help you achieve that goal, I want you to go into detail. I want you to explain what it is you're going to do. You're gonna learn really fast. I am all about writing. I'm all about detail. I'm all about being a descriptive writer and explaining your point, okay? The more, the merrier with me. And also, we are in sixth grade now, friends. You're really gonna strengthen those writing muscles, okay? So, no less than four sentences per paragraph of your letter. And remember, each paragraph is a different goal that you've chosen. 
okay? I can't wait to see what you've come up with. I can't wait to see all of the descriptive writing that you put into each paragraph regarding each of your goals and what you're going to do to um, do your best to achieve each of those goals over this quarter. And then don't forget, you know, you started your letter by saying, dear, your name, you're going to finish by writing sincerely your name because remember you are writing to yourself. So this is going to be due Friday by the end of the day. Um, you're going to be typing it up in Google Docs. So I'm going to be getting two. I'm going to be getting your brainstorming Google Doc and I'm going to be getting your letter to yourself Google Doc. And I can't wait to see what you have come up with. So toodle my friends. See you on Google Classroom. Bye.